in with Paula. I had paid for like a package of them back in June or whatever. And I had one left over because with the move and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. My lesson's at 11.30. It is 9.10 right now. So I gotta get to the barn. I Her new bit came in. If you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about this. It's the Trust Equestrian Hackamore bit with kind of like the equivalent of like a Nath mouthpiece. It's just flexible, really flexible rubber. Um, so I wanted to try that on her. I'm gonna bring both bridles just in case she's like, absolutely not, this is so stupid, get this thing out of my mouth, which at that point then I've wasted $280. like I mean it was our first test it was just a schooling show so he hasn't been to a show since February so it had been quite a bit since he had been out I'll post I'll basically just post the raws of our round or whatever um, in another video but either way he did really 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 good the second test he was phenomenal oh my gosh he was so relaxed so 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 good oh my god he was amazing and I was like under my breath telling him how good he was like I was just like in it and I was feeling it and it was great and I had a reader and I just start making up my own test <laughs> so I had two errors like where they had to ring the bell because I went off, off course on the test twice but we still got a 65. So like it's a 65.5 something or other. <laughs> so yeah, that was a... Uh... So I just gotta practice that test more because I practiced the test one quite a bit and I had like my students practice it, but we didn't do the test two as much. So I just, I had the first one pretty much memorized and I, you know, just was kind of half listening to Debbie as she was reading. <laughs> she, <laughs> everyone was just laughing because I couldn't help but just laugh. <laughs> Debbie was laughing. She goes, I think we're supposed to go the other way. <laughs> and it took forever for the judge to ring the bell. So like I knew I was off, but then I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'm not off because she hasn't <laughs> rang the bell. And then she stood up and she was like, sorry, I'm a little later. <laughs> and I was like, that's okay. And I was like, so where do we start? I'm just standing in the middle of the ring. And then her and Debbie are like, where should we start back? Like, where should we go? It's just... Sorry, I just thought it was really funny because I was like the second to last test of the day. <laughs> Oh my God, it's just, 
I get so in tune with what I'm doing with the horse that everything just gets blacked out. It's the same way over fences. Like, I, that's just, that's my story and I'm sticking to it because that's basically, I think, what happens. So, that was fun. I'm pulling into the barn now. I gotta get the trailer hooked up and then <clears throat> I'm gonna start packing my stuff in the car, get Renita all groomed and ready to go. Alex is meeting me here in about 40 minutes because he's gonna ride with me there and get videos very unhappily because I convinced him and he was not thrilled about it. So, oh well. Thanks, honey. All right, I will see you guys when we get inside the barn. This is the view. Is it zoomed in? Yeah. It's at zero percent. Yeah, see now you got that sweet side eye as well in the, the video. I got a nice stable thing here.
can't stop falling for you Can't stop falling for you 